And today I'm going to show you how to texture paint in Masterpiece Creator. So here we have a character that we have previously textured here in Masterpiece Creator. And what we're going to do is we're going to finish off the body. This body is still all clay. So what we need to do is turn this clay into a mesh, mesh process it, add the UV layer, and then afterwards we can go into texture painting. So texture painting in Masterpiece Creator follows a PBR workflow. So now we have the body selected. I'm going to go into the texture. And I'm presented with this dialog. I can either select auto prepare and it'll do the whole process for me. Or I can go to prepare mesh and tweak the settings according to something more to my liking. In this case, I know that it's a character and it's organic, so I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, this character is going to an image and video for processing, and then I'll leave it on desktop console. I'll enable texturing so I can get the UV maps for this. Animation is going to be useful afterwards for when I bring this character into motion for animation. And the mesh quality, I'll leave it at medium poly so that I can have a decent character. Uh, here on the polygons, you can see uh, polygon count on this thing is a bit big. So I'll just lower it to a um, decent, decent amount. So approximately the target that's going to turn this mesh into is going to be 80,000 polys. To me, it's a, that's fine. I'll just leave it as, as that. So we go ahead and process. We're just going to wait for the dialog to finish. Okay, now it has finished processing. Here I have the mesh ready to be textured. So next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the texture, the materials dialog here in the on texture window. So we have two different settings here. We have texture where we're going to apply a texture map here. As you can see, uh, it's already pre-selected uh, one that we use by default. That uh, is, it's a checkered one that is useful to check the mesh consistency, so that you don't see any stretch marks or anything that might cause the texture to look bad. So so far, it looks good. I'll open up the materials dialog, and here you're presented with this library of different materials that we have previously added to the to masterpiece creator and on the right side we have all the different uh texture maps that you can apply to create your own materials and this is the material that i want to use so as you can see the all the, the channels have been previously populated with all the the maps that are required for this material so here you can toggle on and off the different uh, channels that you're going to use for the material. So say, for example, I don't want this material to have any metalness whatsoever. I'll just disable that. And the metalness is removed from the material. In order for this to not have the metal applied to it, I will need to apply chain. However, I do want it to be a little bit I'll also leave the glossiness and the height is just it's, it's just that good. Normal as well. And maybe what I'll do is I'll probably want to create a variation of this material. So if I want to create a variation, it's as simple as selecting the material you want and click on duplicate. So what it does, it, it here in the customs folder, you're presented with a new material that is a copy from the original material on the library. Now on this one, I can select different things uh, to make it a bit more uh, stylized in my way. So here in the color albedo, you can either choose another texture map, or if you click here, you can change this into color. So what I'll do is I'll change that into color. There are many ways you can apply a texture. You can either go manually and paint this like that and the whole mesh will get 
to the texture. Or what I could do is I'll also select fill here. And just by selecting fill and clicking, now my whole model has been applied with the proper texture. Okay. So, all right. So that we have the base layer covered. And what we're going to do is now these pads, I want them to be a bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select something different, something a little bit more to the style of the gloves here, uh, so that it matches a little bit. So what you do here is you go to Featured and look for any material that you like. In any case, if you don't, if you don't want it to use any of these materials, you can create your own custom material. So I'll do that. I'll select my new custom material. And then I can select the different maps, right? So in this case, I I want to adjust the color on that pad. And maybe I'll adjust the glossiness and the metalness so that it looks a bit different. Um, I could probably do the lines or I could just use my just use any type of uh, texture that I want. So in this case, I'm just going to go simple. I am going to go here and I'm going to click here. And I'm presented with this dialog where I can select any of the textures on here. I can use the lines. So I'll select this Fabric 5, which is just like the lines. And I'll import that. As you can see, you have the lines there. And if I click here, now the color is being a, the colored map is being applied to my suit. But as you can see, the normal is preserved. That's because I haven't applied anything to the normal. So now that I have that, I'll load the metalness. Perhaps I I want them to be a bit more shiny or more metallic. So what I'll do is I'll just browse around to something bit more lighter or I can do is I can go to my computer here and I already have a map that is all white so I'll import that and once that loads I'll go to my computer again go to textures and select the same one and for the glossiness to that, I'll apply changes to this material. And now, as you can see, it's very, very shiny, but I don't want to use the fill because uh, I don't want to change the structure of what I've already textured. So in this case, I'm going to go back to paint. Um, I can select an assortment of brushes. Or you can bring in your own alpha brushes here and use your own. So in this case, I'm just gonna keep this, the same one. I'm gonna use the brush circle. And I'm gonna lower this a little bit. And now I'll get close and I'll probably enable also the normal and try to get the normal for that, which is was fabric five. I'll import this. However, as you can see, as I'm, as I'm hovering here, I'm also getting the hexagons from the previous texture. So what I'll do is I'll erase those hexagons, right? And I can also use symmetry here. So whatever I apply to one side gets applied to the other. So I'll just go closer to this and I'll just start erasing the areas that I'm, I don't want to have affected. Another thing is that while painting with your brush, you want to be as precise as possible. Right? 
But uh, I don't know, like my hand sometimes wiggles a bit too much. It's not a steady hand. I don't have a steady hand. But we have implemented in, in Masterpiece Creator the smoothing tool. So here with smoothing, what you can do is you can enable the position smoothing to something a bit higher, say 90%, and rotation a bit higher as well. And then you'll see that now, whenever I move my brush, it moves a lot smoother. My hand can shake, but it will still keep a smooth movement. This is very, very useful. So when you want to have precise areas, you want to texture. And there, so you can see now both pads have been erased. And now I can apply my texture. So I'll go back into paint. I'll browse the material. Go again to my custom materials. Here we go. Okay. So now let's go ahead and texture our pads. So I'll just apply this here. As you can see, it's following contour. And I want to keep it a as tight to the contour as possible. Because I have smoothing enabled, I'm able to precise paint in different areas. And continuing on, just finish this up. And it's applying all of my maps. As you can see, you can see the pumpiness from the normal. I'll keep on going like this. So another thing that I could do is let's say that this doesn't quite match, you know, the gray with the blue. It kind of looks a bit odd. So instead of changing the color here, what I can go is I go into the the color tab, and here I can select. A different color from my palette here. So what I'll do is I'll select probably something grayish. And now I'll just go in closer and apply this new grayish texture. And you see the hardness here is at 50%, so it's kind of keeping track of the previous color. So what it's doing actually, it's turning the color a bit lighter by just applying the gray. And I think it looks good. I think it actually makes the pad look a little bit like iridescent. It has a different color. There we go. Once I'm Happy with the results. I'll just leave it like that. And there you go. This is my variation of a character. And that is how you texture paint a masterpiece creator.